surprise, motherfucker. Good evening, one and all. Welcome to Car City World. This is your flower hour. I am here with the man who brings the, the chicken to my fried rice. He is Mr. Matthew Angel. How are you doing, mate? You're right. <laughs> I'm good, but busy day. I've literally just come through the door. So I've, uh, other than looking at the result, um, you're on your own today, my friend. I'll do my best to uh, take part. Let me say the uh, standard, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do it along, like, but to uh, commitments with rugby and that, I've uh, literally just come through the door. I no drama, sir. no problem at all. Um, well, welcome, mate. I hope you've had a good day. I know, as you mentioned, it's been a busy one. Um, kind of wish I missed it, the game myself, but hey ho, we move. That's what happened. was it. Um, yes. To, to be honest, um, Mr. Are you frozen? it was, do you know, well, starting well, from the line of point of view, to start from the start of it, um, line up, it was lovely to see Ruben start. Um, I'm glad that he did, um, you know, Earn his place back in the starting side, which I thought was which, which was positive. I think that was a good move from Bullet. Um, and I think that's as much as the positives went, if I'm honest with you, for, for today. Um, the we, we we haven't spoken much about the keeper, mate, have we? Um, since he joined, we haven't talked a lot about him. He's not done much wrong, I don't think. Um, today he was awful. He was very poor. Mm-hmm. Um, the first goal in particular, he got beaten at his near post, and yes, it was a it was a somewhat powerful shot, but I kid you not, mate. He was. I'm not sure if you've seen the highlights of the goals or anything like that, yeah, but but I've seen the he, I've seen the two goals. Craig was lucky enough to put the uh, the first two goals. I think the goal they scored and the goal we scored. Um, in the WhatsApp group, but other than that, I haven't seen any of the other ones. And first thing when I seen it, I thought, you know, he should be doing better than that at his uh, at his near post. Um, but yeah, going back to what you said, I I think he came to the club, didn't he, with a bit of a reputation for what he done at was it Luton, if I'm right? Yeah, Luton and Forest. He done what I don't. Yeah, he was, I think he was first choice of Forest as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, for a short period of time, so yeah, he has got a reputation behind him, yeah. But you know, I'm not thinking because, like you said, he hasn't done much wrong, but he just doesn't look as I don't know, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't look as if he has that confidence, does he, and to demand the, the penalty area. And that sometimes he looks a bit hesitant coming out for balls, like I said, I can't comment on today because obviously I haven't seen it, but um, yeah, was he. Could he have done much more with the other two goals? Um, the second goal, um, it was more of a defensive issue. Maybe he could have been stronger to come and claim the cross. Um, the third goal, I must admit, my uh, thing would, was buffering. I missed the third goal. From perfectly honest with you, mate. So I'm not too sure how that one how that one went down. To be honest, mate. Um, I yeah. It, it's a difficult one, like, and it is hard. And I do feel, I do feel bad for calling him out. I do because he hasn't been that's, that bad at us. But yeah. today he was shite. He was very, very poor, and he got caught out. Like he's made some. 
I wouldn't say errors, but his distribution's not been perfect since he's joined. I think we can all agree on that. His distribution when collecting the ball and sending it off and whatnot, even from goal kicks, it's not been perfect. But he just, I think he got found out today against not a great Millwall team. But then on the flip side of that, I think Millwall had got a hell of a lot more to play for on this as well. So, you know, it's, it, it's a difficult one today. It is a difficult one to to take because, yes, Cardiff were, were poor. They were as poor as they've been for a little while, um, which is very frustrating after what happened against the, the Brum. Um, but then, and then to back it up with a performance like that against a, a struggling Millwall team who now, by all accounts, someone will... Um, Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm I'm sure, but you know they they're near on safe now as well. So it's hard. It's a tough one to take, mate. If I'm if I'm honest, but um, we'll talk about the coach later on. I know a few. I've read a few things today, which um, looks like that by all accounts we should know by end of play today. All the crackers come come next season. Um, I'm just a bit disappointed, to be honest. Um, it's a bit of a deflated one today because of, you know, you, you, they, they build us up during the week. I thought Bowler just went backwards again. And he did a couple of things today, like in the start, and he, he did kick on a bit. And then as time went on, he just started dragging back. Same with Grant. He, he obviously has the legs and whatnot. CEO was 100 miles an hour. I thought I didn't think Perry NG had a great game again. I don't I don't think he had a decent chance. Um quarter away way sorry, beg your pardon, sorry, quarter away through the first half. He had a, a chance from a corner of a left foot folly. Um I don't think he was great. I don't think he's been at his best. I think we can agree. I don't know if you agree or not, maybe, but for a few weeks now. Um yeah. and I sure wonder that, how much last. I wonder how much of that's coming. You know, obviously there's been rumours circulated, haven't there, that he's agreed a deal with a Premiership club. Um, and how much of that's playing it as an impact on him? You know, I don't know how true those rumours are. It could be a load of cods, wallet, but you know, does it? You know, does it? If if a player, you know, thinking right, I'm going to a Premiership club after the last yes, two or three games now. If I get if I get injured now, or if I go into a challenge, and you know I I snap my leg, that's my dream move gone type of thing. Um, so you know it'll be interesting to see what does happen here. Um, but it I, you know you think, it, it does make you think that, yeah. like, because it's only been since these well a couple of weeks prior to this rumor coming out that he's. His, his performance by his standards has dropped, and you know what I mean. Yeah. We, we know, we all know, players' performances do dip through a season. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. But he set he set that bar himself, haven't he? Of course, you know he what I mean. You, if he doesn't perform to that level, then it is going to get picked up, and you are going to think, you know, it's it's just one of them things. You know, he's been Mister Consistent for us for. X amount of time, and when he does go off the boil a little bit, then perhaps you know is you know we are going to pick up on it, and we are going to notice the difference type of thing. Yeah, uh, G Pai mentions about the keeper makes you wonder why he didn't keep his spot at Luton Forest though. The first shot he could have gotten to, especially near if it had gone far post, then different story. And Jeff De La Cruz mentions a second goal was near post too, so. Yeah, I um I didn't even click on an army to be honest with you. So you know, two nice to see you in the uh, in the chats, Jeff. Thank you very yeah. much. Nice one, buddy. Um, Andy Deep Barry, of course, Mister uh, Mr. Stalwart. He is he's a hardcore uh, Flower Hour supporter. He's he? an honorary member of the Flower Hour. He is, mate. <laughs> one of us. Um. I said on on G I on makes a lovely comment here. Uh and you mean giving silly fouls later of late. Um is he off somewhere? Um it's mad, like and 
I don't think we will find out until the last balls kick of the season. Just be honest, will we? We no. ain't gonna find out nothing. The club's not gonna release nothing. For all we know, a deal may already be done. Um, knowing what Cardiff's like, the hell's that? No, sorry, knowing what Cardiff's like, um, pff, deal could have been done three, four months ago. I, I can't forgive me. Sorry if we talked about this previously. His contract's not up at the end of the season, though, is it? No, he have not long signed a new one. He, he have, haven't he? I'm sure we, we mentioned this. Yeah. So I'm not sure if it was the start of this season or this, or at some point last season he'd signed a new one because I can remember talking to him outside the club um, when he yeah. signed something for signed something for Josh because I just congratulated him on his new contract. But, um, yeah, and oh, let, let's be honest, I think. What's that, mate? He goes, cheers, mate. That's great. Thanks. Cheers, mate. Do you want some chicken, lad? <laughs> <laughs> but no, you, you know, to sustain the level of performances he have for so long for card, if you can't knock him, if he has the odd couple of weeks here and there that he doesn't perform, but us being, the, you know, the, the fans we are, we'll pick up on the, uh, the performances that have dropped a little bit. But... You know, I can't sing his praises enough, and you probably exactly the same. He's he's been unreal for us. Um, and if if a club comes in, I have no doubt whatsoever, Cardiff will let him go. You know, if a cl- club comes in with six million plus add-ons, etc., then unfortunately, given the you know the circumstances the club are in financially and stuff, he'll be gone. And that's it. And let's not forget, mate, he is literally the cheapest name to have printed on the back of a football shirt as well. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I'd no. be gutted to see him go. I'd be gutted to see him go, but I, if he was to go, I want to see him go and play regular football, not just go and sit on the bench and play 10, 15 minutes here, there, and you know, I'm not sure what how old Perry is, but um, this is a you know, great I'd want to see him go and and play football. I wouldn't want to go and see him sat on a bench, like like a Kiefer Moore type of situation. Then, if I'm completely honest, because knowing how lucky he'll get loaned back out to a blinking Championship side, and then he'll rip us apart next year. Then. This is a great shout. Not just because of the Merseyside connections, but you think he's a right back. The right back at Everton now is a very aging Seamus Coleman. I'm guessing he's still um, a starter for Everton. Um, so that would be a, a decent replacement. Not that obviously I'm, I'm wanting this to happen, but. Have they had more points to deduct this year, uh, this, this week? Yes. So, by all accounts, which I don't, I don't know um, how that, I don't know, I don't know how that sees them in the, uh, in the Premier. No, I think, table. I think this. Yeah, sorry, I tried to interrupt you, mate. I, I think they are still pretty damn safe in fairness. Um, They're only two points above, but they got two games in hand. Yeah, and Sheffield was it Sheffield? Yeah, Sheffield United got a delayed points deduction as well for another two points. Yeah, I think they're uh, they're gone. There's a bit of a gap between Burnley and 19th, who've got 20 points, and then Luton on 25, Forest 26, Everton 27, Palace 30. So I would say from 16 down, Everton, like you said, it all depends on the, the two games they got in hand, really, who they're against, and if they can pick up points in. And yeah. All fun and games in the world of the Premiership as well. Yeah, imagine, see, yeah. imagine being in Premiership. What do I ask like again? <laughs> Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, go on, carry on, Ange. I was just saying about Premiership results. I see the Manx are uh, drawing two all, two Fernandez uh, goals. <laughs> yeah, I was watching that before we came in, in fairness. I know we, we wouldn't talk much about that. Can't believe you just admitted to watching the Manx. No, in fairness, I was watching Bournemouth. Yes, good just, answer. Good answer. Just, I like it. It just so happened they were playing them. Yeah. Um, it's not a Roger Gig show, mate. You're okay. No. Um, <laughs> um, no. 
And do you know what? Bournemouth are a very good football team. Like, um, they're such a good football team. Dominic Solanke, mate. Tell you what, what a player. Yeah. He, I think he scored when well, he, he scored the first goal against um, United today. And I think it's like, I think they say it's like his 18th, 19th goal of the season or something like that. It's not yeah. bad, is it, for a mid table Premiership team? Yeah. Nice. Um, anyway. It's not a cha- it's not a Premiership show. This is the Car City World, the Championship show. Um, it's the flower where anything goes, Robert. You know that. Anything goes. Um, anything goes. Paul says, let's be honest, Mill or nothing special. Our players lost the game far too easy, just like the last few games from the uh, apart from the one nil the other night. It's been difficult to watch. Um, I'd be interested to know. I know you guys. If any of you who has gone up there, probably still frigging travelling. If anybody is. Yeah, you're probably still traveling now, aren't you? I expect from from there. Yeah, um, I won't get home till about nine. I don't expect yeah, being on buses. Oh, what, what a way to ruin your freaking weekend! Fair play to him going up there. Yeah, I not. I th- I'm sure I'd seen there was over thirteen hundred tickets sold. So, um, yeah, something I might look at next year. To be honest, to do some. I've only done the one this year with Josh, so um, something I might look at next year, given the rugby up so to speak so um yeah it'll be interesting to see if i can uh wangle a few away trips but i'll have to see to rob a post office or a bank or something i think yeah that's fine we'll, we'll just we'll just uh, do some money in order that's fine. <laughs> we'll edit that bit out after it's gone live yeah <laughs> we don't do that we don't condone it no be good work hard yeah. enjoy your minimum pay so did any of the youngsters, because I see that Conti was on the bench as well today, did any of the youngsters get on today, Colwell, Ashford? Uh, Ashford got on, um, not before Shitshu got on first. I um, can't remember who else got on. I don't know. Tanner, come on. Wintle, come on. I don't think any other youngsters come on correct me if i'm wrong i'm just gonna quickly look now um i'm pretty sure it was only um i'm pretty sure it was only ashford who came on yeah it's good that he's getting minutes i suppose but like i said i'm not sure at what point he came on what the score was obviously i know they scored late didn't they in injury time 90 plus whatever oh yeah the game was done by that mate they were kind of for chasing the game a little bit but they even when they were two nil two one down sorry I beg your pardon they didn't look like they were gonna go and i don't think personally we didn't look like we we're gonna go and equalize i don't mm-hmm. think that did we have did we have much of the ball today because like possession wise over the season i don't think we've been a team that you know very rarely if we had more than like 45 50 percent possession in games we're not that team at the moment we that are keeping hold of the ball passing the ball freely and things i think possession wise i think that's and i don't know again that's the way the manager plays the game it's very attacking or counter-attacking type of football in it but it's been very i don't know i just you know, some games I look at the, the stats and things after and think, you know, how, how can you expect to win games when you're having like 33 or 34% possession of the ball? Like, Well, that's it. Like, I think, oh, sorry, going back to your original question about the possession, um, there was a little bit more. I'm not sure of the overall. The kind of did seem to have a little bit more of the ball, but as the game progressed, it seemed to lack even more so. Um, I think G. Parry mentioned in our chat, I'm sure it was him who mentioned um, one of the reasons why Ruben Caldwell came off was because he was coming so deep. And the reason he was coming so deep was to try and come and get the ball. Let's be real. like He was trying to come and get the ball to, to make it work because the midfield, as much as I do love Razi and CO, there's not, there was no creativity from them to, to bridge that gap between defence to attack. Um, Bowler and Grant didn't really offer too much to break up the play, to bring the strikers in and things like that. And when Rubens having to come back deeper and deeper and deeper, it leaves a very 
underperforming matey to work even harder and do you know what I mean? He needs help the best of times. And look, I know he scored a goal today, so well done to him. Congratulations for scoring a goal. Fair play to him, like. But I don't know, know. he was shit. That's how he's in. But it just it pisses me off, like the fact that we still go into that Jeju like, and and I feel bad. I do generally feel bad for calling players out for calling them shit because they're obviously more than a footballer I'll ever be or ever dream to be because of their careers. But it just frustrates the hell out of I mean, me. We're yeah. bringing these players on who we've seen enough of them now. Surely coach has seen enough of them by now who can see that, you know, you are not cutting the mustard this, at this level. Like, yeah. you know, yes, you've done well in a championship for Bristol many, many moons ago, but you ain't cut for shit, like, and he looks so unfit. It's ridiculous. I'll talk about fitness with another lad in a second, but he just looks so way off a pace, like, way, way off the pace. And and you're bringing this lad in instead of Ashford. And do you know what I mean? I, I might as well have frigging shares in Ashford or something like that because they might like spark on about that little fucker. But but that's what, that's what I think, mate. That's what I think, in fairness. Do you know what I mean? But... Yeah. Um, um, just going back to the point you made there, then about um, you know, I, not like having go as you know, having a go at players and stuff is you know, we've all got a, a right to our opinion, there's nothing personal towards the players when we do. It's just, I don't know, I suppose as Cardiff fans, you just you just want want them to be better, don't you? But yeah, you know, this do better, this, Cardiff, yeah, <laughs> pull your um, finger out, I know, isn't it? Um, so a couple of lovely comments here. Jeff goes, uh, but has got on a big rant on Wales Online um, about the uh, G Powers is who about the players. Uh, be interesting to see. Jeff, did he call out any players specific, specifically, or has he just gone like as a whole? You know, you were pretty much dog shit today. You let us down basically. Um, he's got to do that, haven't he? At the end of the day, like I said, he's fighting for his contract now for next year. Um... And you you know, you look at the games that we got left, right? I know we got um the Southampton next week and then Middlesbrough. Yes. And then Rotherham away to finish off. So the next two home games are big games. Southampton is gonna be difficult. I think they won today, I think. Um Borough, that's gonna be difficult. And given our own performance. Yeah, Campbell Derby. What's that? Yeah. Barrow, the Andy Campbell Derby. Uh, I, I, see uh, I see. I see. They've reduced ticket prices for that. I've made to fifty percent. So, yeah, I see. They've reduced tickets for the Borough game to fifty percent. To obviously get bums on seats. But I would be interested to see if there's any comment, anybody in the chat, um, or season ticket holders, and when you see the offers, you know. You see them every season, and you know I'm I'm a season ticket holder, and I'm not one to grumble that you see the kids for a quid happen once or twice. Um, you see these fifty percent off ticket prices. That's a good question. But I, but I bet there is some people out there who are a bit disgruntled the fact that they've paid full whack for their season ticket, and then you have these offers and things like that. Then, do you know what? That's a, that's a really good point, there, mate. I do wonder, like. You know, when you see these flying off as about, I know yeah, as you bang on, like it's not every single home game by any stretch of imagination, but I wonder whether it does like get rub people up the wrong way in fairness. Yeah. Um, while we wait for a response on that, Paul says Ashford Tanner, Donkey, Dick, uh, Shit Shoe, and Winter with a sub. So, yeah, I was, I was partly right on that. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, 67% two. possession we had 11 shots 4 on target wow I'm surprised with that that's got to be our the most we've had all season I'm guessing that's uh, that's really shocked me I have in fairness 67% Jesus um, sorry just tell them what I thought I should do so I do apologise um, so remember what Gav said the other night 
Seth Owner gave him straight advice to work hard. Fans love players who are at least prone to in. Yeah. Oh, I, it, what's that? I was going to say, I've just been on, um, I won't name the website or whatever, or the app. 62% possession. Total shots, seven. Millwall had 15. You're lying. Jeff's, Jeff's right. You're not right. You're wrong. Yeah. But, well, uh, yeah. regardless yeah. of the bits in between, like that's just mad, isn't it? It's mad. Um, yeah. Yeah. But it, it, and that, you know, that stat for me just cries out the fact that, you know, it's been the same all season. I mean, we've had, we, you know, if we've had that possession today, surely we should be finishing teams off. Who were in that? I don't know. You know, do we have? Do we create many chances today? I'm guessing, looking at the stats with shots and stuff, we didn't create them. Um, it was all. Uh, yeah, it was the epitome of my favourite phrase: "All fart, no poo, mate." <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? I, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't dropped that clanger in a while, but it was, it was, mate. Like, do, like they start. You think, right? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And then, and then it just falls apart, and they're giving the ball away. It's going backwards. Or is that a cross that's literally come in and it's just gone straight out? And it's just, you can see the want is there. Like, you can see the want and desire is there. But the, the end product is so bad at times. It is so bad. But, like, I'm, I'm trying to keep telling myself, like, loads of you guys were watching along and, and, who has done and commented, etc. You know, but try, I'm trying not to get carried away and look at the positives that you know where we are in the league, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and stuff. But <laughs> it still doesn't help, does it? Let's be honest. Yeah. It still still pisses me off at 25 to eight on a Saturday evening when we're sat here with the lovely people watching along talking about Cardiff losing the way 3-1 at shitty Millwall like but yeah, these flower and domains have got football tomorrow but he exactly there's no risk of that being called off tomorrow no thank god especially because no. we're at Wattsville they will play even if it's six feet under the sea um one thing I've been looking on social media before we um before we came on air and someone made a cracking point about Ruben Caldwell and his fitness um, like I know it's easy for me to sit here as a, a fat fan, but he desperately needs to improve his fitness. He's clearly a talented boy, but if he's going to kick on and go to that next level, I think, and I agree with the per I can't remember who it was who said on on the on the page, but somebody I think they hit the nail on the head. If he is to kick on and go to this next level, he needs to be able to play for more than 50, 60 minutes. Um, he yes, needs, it was he a fair comment. It's yeah, it's a very comment. good one, mate. He, he I'll, needs I'll, throw that back, I'll throw you. that back at you then, right, and say... You, you know, do the fitness yourself. <laughs> that, I said, you do the fitness yourself, you fat no, prick. I, no, <laughs> what, what I was going to say was, um, like, match fitness then, because, you, you, you know... You, Fitness, you said, you can do all the running, God sends, but match fitness itself then is completely different, isn't it? Yeah. So you can be the fittest person in the world, but if you're not playing regular, you're having them bumps and them knocks and things, and your body's getting used to that type of thing. And I just, again, he's one of the players who hasn't had a consistent run of games and he's played 60 minutes, 70 minutes on a regular, regular basis, like. So yeah, Daddy said you can go in the cupboard and get as many chocolate and biscuits out as you want, babe. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> cold. I bet it is. I'll sort it out now. Right. I'm live. Go away. It's okay. Um, just tell me if food's gone cold. <laughs> um, what was That's I what a property go? ping is for. <laughs> no, isn't it? Put it in the microwave. 12 minutes. <laughs> Christ, we'll burn down the house now. It's not even my house, this isn't. Um, no, that's it. Like, and then I do wonder then, like, do you think he'll go on loan next season 
to somewhere else where he can play constantly? Or do we think he's just going to go pull the trigger and bang, you're our number one guy, you're our number 10, let's go? I would like to think that the latter, what you've just said, I think have a, you know, a big summer work fitness wise, because he picked up a couple of in- injuries throughout the season as well. I mean, he, um, it'll be interesting to see what comes of Rambo. Um, I still think, you know, he's potentially, I haven't seen any results from the scan that he's supposed to have had this week. No, but so. um, yeah, like he's he been playing Turnbull. It's a miss in that position as well, Ebony. And I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what um see what happens. But I would I would like to think he's in his plans for next year. Um but who oh, bloody knows, but is it'd be interesting to see, right? Um you say about consistency and having consistency in performances and picking um regular squads. Like our back five have pretty much been nailed on for the last god knows how long. But that midfield area and up top is kind of I know he picks bowler and grant and stuff and it's chopped and changed between make day and things at, at, at the at present. But that midfield, it'd be interesting to see how many games consistently we've had that same midfield on a regular basis. Mm. Um I think it was a comment you made um in the week. Um, with Gav, when Gav was on with us, what a legend! By the way, that was a great show. I really enjoyed that. What a top, top blow! A beautiful guy, like yeah. So hopefully we can do a bit more with Gav because I think he was quite he quite enjoyed it, didn't he? As well, in fairness, and I think he'd be quite open uh, to come back and uh, some, do some more stuff with us. So that'll be good. But yeah, I think it was a comment either you or Gav had made about bowlers' performances um, and not knowing who he's going to be playing with. Yeah, that's right. That's it. I think it's what's a ghost door. Um, no, that's right. It was a case of like I kind of argued with myself in fairness on it because I critiqued Bowler, but then when Gav put me in my place, and I could see the other side of it then, where it's the case of if you're playing with, with two different centre mids or even one different sentiment every other game or whatever it may be. Like, they, they, everyone's got different strengths or weaknesses, so it's hard to really read and know and get some consistency on how you're going to go about your, your playing life because one player's attacking could be stronger than another uh, attacking centre midfield and vice versa for defensive wise as well. So... Um, so I think that's a very good point. Um, I, I just don't know anymore. I just don't there's know. Great, there's a cr- great comment just in the chat from Paul. Um, this one, you welcome, Paul. Um, thank you for the comment, buddy. Um, but I 100% completely agree with that comment. Can the players play the system Bullock wants them to play? When Bowler gets the ball out on the wing, we're urging him to go at the defenders, but stops and passes back. How many times have we said that over the last, I don't know, couple of months? Is um, well, he, he I've always, did, I've always thought he was straight away this morning. Or today, sorry, sorry to interrupt you, Ainge boy. He like was you within the first five ten minutes before um, Millwall scored. Um, he did look like he was starting to take players on. He'd done a nice couple of one twos with I can't maybe a seal, I think, in midfield or Perry and G, and, and he was going at him a bit, and then it just started to just go back and back and back and back again. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, and I, I do think you know, not that we slate in him, but we do pick up on that and we identify that that's what he's doing. But is he being told to do that? We don't know, do we? You know, as far as we're concerned, we're we're all saying, oh, you know, he's not doing what he should be doing, getting past players and whipping the ball in or whatever. But is he being told? Yeah, we don't know. And you Um, know, I don't know. Oh, go on, carry on. Sorry. No, I was just going to say I don't know what Bullock's thinking really. So it's it's, is it is a difficult one, isn't it? Um, um, just something I wanted to say, sorry, but just about in um, before we wrap up. Um, I know Sai's got another busy week um, lined up. 
hopefully there's going to be a, a nice announcement coming up in the week. He has mentioned it to us, but we're not allowed to say anything. So that's coming out midweek, maybe, maybe earlier, depending on um, the I's and T's being dotted and crossed. Um, but he is still looking for um, some venues for future legends. Obviously, we've got the Willie Boland one now on the 10th of May um, over in the Rosen Crown in Ponte Preed. Um, very surprised there's any tickets left, to be honest. I think he I said there's still a couple. I can't wait for that. Um, but if anybody does know of any venues that potentially would be interested in um, hosting um, a Cardiff City Legends evening, um, please get in touch with Simon. Um, uh, the email address is acenetworkcontact at gmail.com. I'm sure Simon will put that link up in the chat um, if he's watching. If not, just message to me us on Facebook. Pull your, pull your guys. finger out. Um, or contact Sai on the social media platforms. Um, or you can you know message myself or Rob on um the book of face, so to speak. But uh, yeah, some interesting um I some exciting wait. things coming up. Some sexy ones coming up, but yes, some uh, some good ones. So it's um, exciting times and yeah, some good ones coming up. So keep your uh keep a lookout. Yeah. On that note as well, some exciting things coming up for the Flower Hour as well, by all accounts. We're going to be doing going on the road a little bit um, with the, the headmaster, with Gandalf the Grey. Um, we're doing some other things, I think, coming up shortly as well, so that'll be exciting. Um, and guess maybe on Cassie World, I imagine. I don't think people want to pay to see us all together like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, just finishing up before we do all that, um, I think, I'm not sure if I put it in the chat earlier. Is it apparently, by all accounts, but in conversations this evening in London after the game, um, apparently, allegedly, a decision, a decision is getting made tonight on his future. So, you won't hear about that though until after the season. Now, I was just you know. gonna say, do you think it'd be a case of they'll make a decision t- tonight, one way or another, and we still won't hear sh- shit about it until end of season? Or do yeah, you I think you, you don't know. think whatever happens tonight, they'll tell us? I don't know, I would like to think they'd give him and you know, back him, and you know, if they can announce that with three games to go. I think it it probably give everybody within the building a bit of a boost. For, for me, I'm open. You know, you're still going to get haters out there who are going to say, "Oh, he needs to go. He's not adapting to anything." Um, but I just see us. You know, if we was to get shot, we're just going backwards and backwards all the time. We're not. Granted, you know, he's he's got faults of his own. I'm not saying that he hasn't. Um, and there's certain things that I would change. Um, but I think we just need to back him and give him a, a transfer window, let him bring in players he wants, let him get rid of the players he, he doesn't see fit. Um, and give him a give him a goal. Let's you know, we've we've got to start backing managers. I think you know, we it's a bit of a mockery, if I'm honest, the, the, you know, the number of people we've had in charge and we get rid and we just it's like a bloody merry go round, isn't it? People jump on and jump off is it's ridiculous. I think you've hit nail the air there perfectly, mate, because we, we, the thing is we're just gonna keep accumulating it's like Watford, for example, where they've had so many managers of recent years and they've got the dead weight in there from about six managers ago. Do you know what I mean? And that's we're just gonna keep accumulating managers like uh, sorry, players like that where Right, Dave's come in, he's brought three players in. They're still in. Dave's, Dave's gone. John's come in, he's brought another five players in. John's gone. we still got them five players from the other regime. And it's just going to keep going and going and going. And you're going to have so many players in there which are not part, by no means, part of the manager's choices and makes it even more difficult to get rid of them at the end of the day. Yeah. Yes, yep. Right, so before I go and 
Got a busy week lined up. I know you said you're not about much this week, so I don't know what we got planned um, regarding the flower hour wise. I think obviously we'll have um, communications with Sai now over the, the re remainder of the weekend and some plans in place for in the week. But I think you said you've got a busy week coming up, Emil. Yeah, got my boy's birthday Monday. Um, I can't talk too loud. So I'll give him his birthday digs tomorrow, then. Yeah, smashing Monday. <laughs> Um, take him to wrestling on Wednesday. I'm going to WE live in Birmingham Wednesday. He doesn't know about it, so God make sure he doesn't hear me. So doing nice. that Wednesday. Don't say anything tomorrow, Josh. No, don't tell him that. It's a surprise for him. Um so he, he, that'd be nice because he hasn't been before, so that'd be cool. Um That's more of a present for you, that is. It is. I can't wait, maybe it'd, it'd be good fun. It'd be nice. Um I think you'd be he has an asterisk. Um, but I think he'll enjoy it. Like, I mean, he does like it, and I think it'd be nice for him. But it's different, it's a little bit different. Like, um, it won't be nice. It won't be nice for you when he says, "Dad, can I have this T-shirt? Can I have a belt like that?" <laughs> I know, but I know I've been putting so much, trying to put so much money aside because I'm dreading it. Like, I, I can't imagine drinks being cheaper, and I can't imagine anything being cheaper. But um that's future of problems and then on friday then i'm done the caravan then so i won't be at the football sunday either i'm away this weekend but i might be able to do a show still saturday from the van <laughs> so um we'll, we'll, to all man and i did finish after was it yeah it's a good point for bournemouth that isn't it Ah, oh, cracking point um but any more comments before we finish up man uh message from cameron there as well nice to see another name new name in the comments thank you cameron down was clapped right he's the one for five for buzz corner great show lads uh to voice our discontent yeah it's always great to see new people in the comments and well, interacting with us um so really do appreciate um you know you you guys getting involved does help me and rob uh kind of uh get through the the time a little bit quicker yeah she was hard if lost yeah and if, especially if when i haven't been able to watch the game today if so cardiff went right with sound if we both watched it cardiff went with sound but yeah. it's only me that's watched it and cardiff lose it's possibly the worst time because <laughs> not the best my words and and yeah exactly that proved my own point straight away so no i appreciate you mate thank you so much for joining us man i hope you can come along for every other one going forward yeah. um yes cameron lad i don't think i'm taking a, a voice do you know what i read that first i, I thought i thought you said i don't think i could take another flower hour <laughs> that That's comment just... will come after <laughs> you've got plenty of shows to catch up on for that, my friend no um honestly Thank you so, so much, guys. Loads of people watching today, so I'm actually buzzing with it. You, obviously, we're clearly better than Anton Deck Saturday Night Takeaway, so massively appreciate that. Other shows are available, of course, from ITV, BBC, and wherever else. <laughs> um, but on our note, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Um, as Inge said, loads of stuff coming on. Um, for the price of a pint of car in a month, become a Patreon member, get early access to shows like the Willie Bowling, which is coming up soon. Obviously, Ainge again has touched upon it. A couple more shows coming up, which are class, like genuinely class. Like, no. Si is interested in speaking with, um, you know, potential venues. So, if anybody does know of anybody or, you know, your friends owns a pub or would be interested in yeah. hosting one of the nights, please get in touch with Si or, you know, message myself or, or Rob on Facebook. And um, we can obviously yeah, put, you in the, put you in the, uh, in the know. With the main man, yeah, boy. I'm surprised um, he hasn't jumped in tonight, mind. Yeah, he, well, in fairness, he gave us a was it gone at seven oh six? He gave us a a tut tut because it is shows and never never start late. No, he, no, and he, he you know he he, he never pushes the time back, back fifteen time. minutes and then half hour. Never happens. Never Careful happens. Get so on time. Um, oh, yes, Logan is well. my end. Here we I'll go. be interesting to find out if there's any you know people in the comments how far away they you know. I know obviously now with the internet and things is, is awesome, but obviously, <laughs> this is with, uh, where did this with, come from, man? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just, I just thought it'd be a rant, it'd be uh, 
and because I know obviously Cy posts on like Cardiff City out in America yeah. and like Facebook posts and stuff. So it'd be interesting to see where uh, where people are listening from. Yeah, that's wicked. I do appreciate that. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, Jeff. Another so name Jeff, another comment. I've seen Jeff. Jeff must have been on before though, because I've or oh, I've watched another show with Jeff in because yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, top man, Jeff. Thank you. Um, G Power said, "Did leave? I did live main two years ago. If it counts, no, it doesn't count." G Power, <laughs> are you joking, mate? Um, Where's Maine? That's America, isn't it? There is America, my friend. You are correct. Well done on your geography. Um, right, guys, it's been an absolute delight. Uh, thank you, peace, love, and all that shenanigans. We'll, we'll leave you with this. Only one thing left to say: Boosh, upper flower.